Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Thanks all for tuning in and stopping by. It's great to have everybody here today. For all you who are brand new, hello, my name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist, and I do videos like these so that way we can best analyze drummers who are better than us, break down their technique into nice and easy to digest forms, and ultimately use that so that way we can become better musicians and increase our playing skills as drummers and other musicians, because I know other people watch this channel other than just drummers. Well, today we've got a returning champion and a guy that I've reviewed a lot and it's really helped my channel to grow, and also a dude that... A a lot of people misunderstood in my last video as far as like they think I disrespect him when I really don't. We're reviewing Jorge from his channel El Estepario Siberiano. And I know my last video that I did on him, well not really my latest video, but the video that I did on him regarding Aaron Kitcher, everyone always was like, oh my god, you're disrespecting El Estepario, blah 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 blah. When I really wasn't, I had nothing bad to say about El Estepario Siberiano. I think he's an absolutely fantastic drummer and his leagues are better than me. And I know any day of the week that he can out shred me on drums, and I did mention that in my previous video. But a lot of people misunderstood me and thought I was talking smack on him, and I really wasn't. I was just disappointed to think that he thought Aaron Kitcher's playthrough was real, which it's not. But anyway, all that to the side, we're reviewing a drum playthrough that he did of Dragon Force Through the Fire and Flames, which is by far their most popular song they've ever made. We've reviewed his technique plenty of times before on the channel, and by God, the dude does not disappoint. He's an absolutely fantastic monster of a drummer, and he goes viral often because he is just that good at what he does. So we're going to take a look at his technique today, see if there's anything that has changed in this playthrough and let's see if there's anything new that we might be able to analyze because it's been uh it's been probably like eight months since i last reviewed this guy so it's been a little while so without further ado ladies and gents let's jump right on top of it and let's see exactly what this guy has to offer us before we start though i check my youtube analytics as any good creator should and only about 0.7 percent of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel what are you guys doing with your lives? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of videos just like this on here. We're going to have a lot more fun content coming your way, so stick around. It's going to be a fun, fun journey. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and jump right in. This is Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force. That's a drum cover by Jorge. Let's go. Already adding some extra stuff in. He's got those cymbals tightened down pretty hard. Oh my gosh. He's insane. And stick tricks too. Yeah, very loose, very good, very good fills. He's got a condenser mic on that snare, which is kind of interesting. If you'll notice, he's keeping very nice and loose, and he's not moving his arms around too much. He's keeping everything nice and tight. Oh, nice cymbal chokes. You can also tell that he's been practicing this a lot. Very good bass technique, too. You can tell he's not strained too much to hold the sticks by just the way he's holding it. He's kind of got his fingers loose with it. <laughs> Adding some Latin roots in there, I see. Yeah, the dude's an absolutely phenomenal drummer. That's crazy, yeah. You'll notice too when he starts going with higher speeds, his power drops. That's because usually with power and speed, there's a correlation between the two, and since they're correlated inversely, you have to reduce your speed if you're trying to hit more powerfully. 
and you have to reduce your power if you're trying to get more speed, so he does exemplify that very well. While keeping loose and keeping everything nice and tight and organized. Everything's right within just a quick wrist flick. Yeah, see right there, that's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful timing too. Electric modulation there. I'll say that for sure. He's very good about keeping that timing and on point. Look at that. Nice claves too. Beautiful claves. Very nice. Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -ba yeah, that's a really good clay up. I like that. And insane stick tricks, insane chops. Everything's really good. Yeah. That's insane. The dude's definitely mastered this craft, I will say it for sure. And his timing is perfect as well. And his dynamic control. That's such an interesting fill. Looks like he's using a lot of full leg motion with some ankles in there. Can't exactly see what his feet are doing, so I assume he's using some ankles in there, but... Oh no. <laughs> he can do it one-handed, that's the thing. <laughs> Of course, see, that's the thing, though. Even though he messed up, still a perfect take. Even though he messed up, a perfect take. Oh, that's a cool mix up there. Change that back up. Power is insane too on those toms. This thing sounds huge. Oh. See, that's how you know. He's got to be really good friends with his cameraman right there. That, that man was like, I got you, bro. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's dive into the review because I, it, I'm always blown away by this guy. He's fantastic.
I would not, uh, I would probably not be wrong to say this guy's probably one of the best drummers in the world right now. Not only is his speed and his dynamic control absolutely over the top, insanely crazy, good. His power is really good. His concentration and just his overall focus and drive that he puts into the instrument is something that's otherworldly. In one of the videos he has on his channel, he explained that one of the things he did a couple years ago was he decided to start dedicating time to drumming like it was a full-time job. And so he started putting in a lot of effort and treating it like it was a full-time job so drumming five days a week like 40 hours a week or something like that and getting in practice every single day so that way he could build his chops build his stamina and be able to do all the stuff that he's doing in these videos here while yes it is absolutely 100 percent vital to be able to play your drums and practice consistently you don't have to practice for eight hours a day necessarily now while what he did absolutely worked for him this dude is definitely like on top of the game right now as far as it comes to drumming the dude is better than really everybody else i'm i'm fine saying that you know while he may not have like say for example the bass drum chops or anything like that as some of these other guys like Bobby Crow from Signs of the Swarm or like Givgeny Novikov from like Slaughter to Prevail. The dude's hand chops are something that I've never really seen like played out before. The dude's absolutely one of the fastest and best drummers a lot. And he has that nice balance between his stamina, his speed, and his power that ultimately just Mwah. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, brother. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this playthrough review. So great job, Jorge. That was fantastic. You blow my mind every single time. And for everyone else, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of Jorge's playthrough. I thought it was absolutely sick. But let me know what you guys think. I'd like to start a conversation with y'all. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. So cheers and have a great rest of your night.